Hi, I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks, and if you've just picked up an iPad, or if you've had one for a while, let me show you how to customize, navigate, and even save on battery life on your new iPad. What I've got here is the iPad Mini with Retina, so my suggestions are going to be aimed at iOS 7 devices. So I'm going to start off a little bit simple, then I'm going to get a little more complicated. So let's say we head into my mail, and then I'm going to respond um, to this email here. So one thing that you can do is if you just do that, you can make it easier for thumb typing or you can put it back together. Say I'm doing uh, an email. When I hold down the period, you can choose from all the different um, endings that you have. Another cool thing is they say you're typing and then you want to switch to numbers. Sometimes you just hit this button and then change it over. But what you can do is you can actually swipe up and then it'll just, and so you don't need to actually change it over. Now there's one section in the settings that I think that you should pay closer attention to in general. And then you hit accessibility. This in here will help you to optimize a tablet for, um, so you can turn Siri on and off to so the speak selection. Uh, guided access actually will keep children, um, say, in a specific app. So if you, if you set up the accessibility shortcut, you just triple click the home screen in order to make that happen. But other cool things are you can do larger type, right? So you can change how big the type is. If you say you don't want to read with your glasses on, you can make it bold. What makes this section pretty interesting is that previously you had to jailbreak the hardware in order to do any of these things. So now I don't have any messages on my screen now, but you actually can get a lot of your push notifications here on the screen. Now this can be a problem because maybe you don't want people checking out what your messages are. Uh, they've really changed the home screen a lot. You can actually go to the camera from the corner. A lot of people seem to have missed that. Or you can slide just to unlock the device. Uh, the reason why I think the camera feature is pretty cool is that if you did have a passcode in here, you can still access the camera without having to unlock your device. So that is actually pretty neat. Now, it, dealing with the notification settings, if you head into Notification Center, uh, Access on Lock Screen, you can actually uh, optimize which ones you want to show up there. So you don't have to let everyone read your emails. Something else that I think that everyone should know about is say you download Google Maps. And I am in Toronto, so let me say that I'm going to the CN Tower. So there's the CN Tower. And I want to, you know, know all the parking and everything like that. So then I would just go in here. Then I would say OK Maps. Then I hit Search. And then you see down here, the on-screen map area has been cached. So that's actually how you do offline maps uh, on the iPad. Now the iPad mini does have pretty good battery life, but I'm going to show you how to get the most battery life possible out of this device. iOS 7 has given you a lot of different features and a lot of new functionality, but a lot of it can be turned off to maximize your battery life. So now let's start off with selecting which apps are refreshing in the background. So this is actually a new iOS 7 feature. Um, th this is quite good for people who have unlimited data plans. So I'm going to get into some tips about how you save some battery life. There are some new iOS 7 features, um, but a lot of them do eat a lot of battery life. So a new one is selecting which apps have refreshed in the background. So this is actually really good for people who have unlimited data plans, um, but automatic content updates can really hurt your battery life. So head on over into Settings, General, Background App Refresh, and then you can actually select which apps you want to refresh in the background. You shouldn't have too many of them actually checked. Now the other place that you can help control what's getting automatically updated is you head on over into the iTunes App Store, and then you choose that that does not get auto updated as well. All right, now another area that you can head into is privacy to turn off your location services or location services are great. I use them all the time, but it would be good to customize which ones you're actually using. So all of these ones, absolutely. But if you head on into system services, perhaps you're not changing time zones. So you could turn that one off. Popular near me, do you use that? Location-based ads, I definitely don't want that. Diagnostics and usage, I mean like these are some things that maybe you don't need to have on all the time. Now I already mentioned that if you head on into general and then accessibility, uh, turning off the motion, motion here will actually also save battery life. 
Now, another one that can be a big power draw if you don't use it very often is if you just head into your control panel, which is down here from the bottom, it'll play the last music that you're playing, uh, which for me is Christmas songs that were free on iTunes. And then you can actually um, do not disturb, auto rotation lock. But if you turn off airdrop, this will actually be a power drain. So turn that off because this is used to send files across the network. And then that way you're not actually looking for the network. So the tablet's just not looking. So turn that off and then turn it on when you need it. Another pretty obvious one is actually the brightness, right? So don't put it on auto. Put the brightness at something kind of reasonable. Uh, don't jack it up. Another one that people may not think will eat battery is Spotlight, right? So the fact that you can search uh, within many different applications actually will use up a lot of power because the tablet has to do data indexing when it goes around. So go into settings general search spotlight and then actually only have it on on the places where you think that you're going to be using it so contacts definitely music yeah podcasts not so much videos not so much right events mail those ones know for me. So it, when you're actually surfing around your tablet and you don't have these on, when you go into these sections, Spotlight won't be doing any data indexing, so it will actually save your battery life. Now here's a trick that'll work on any mobile device. If you want it to charge quicker, put it into airplane mode while you're charging it. So those are just a few tips and tricks around iOS 7 and the iPad. I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks. Yeah.